what I noticed as a young child, there was this song, it's called uh, Children from One Father. And I thought, yeah, one father, I could imagine that, but what about the mother? Where was the mother in the whole story? And there was Mother Mary, of course, and, and, and she had a baby like that. And I was like, but if there's a father and there's a mother, why, you know, I was, I was a wise child. <laughs> But I always, I always question that. Where's the, the feminine part in our religion? Is it possible, just possible, that there's something we don't fully understand here about God, about life, and about ourselves, the understanding of which would change everything? If that's possible, of course, there are those who say, no, it's not possible. You know, it's all right there. It's all in the scriptures. It's all in the books. It's all in the teachings. It's all in the messages. You know, there's nothing we don't understand. We understand it completely. But if we think that it's possible, just possible, that there may be some data missing, that there's more to know about all of this, if we think that's just possible, then we're in the right place by being in this program right now. The goddess is the feminine principle that is half the cosmos, <laughs> you know, that we have a masculine and feminine principle in the cosmos of creation, of birth, of cycles. And we have for the last, you know, 3000 years or so, um, mostly worship the masculine and our world is sorely out of balance because of it. And it's not just about the oppression of women. I mean, that's being addressed and of course, it still goes on, but we started that with women's liberation. But it's what's missing in the conversation as we try to heal our world. And if we are to birth a new era, which I believe we are in the process of doing, birth comes through the feminine. I mean, that's just the way it is. Men create, they certainly do, but there is a birthing organic process that comes through the feminine. And if we don't honor the goddess, we're only playing with half a deck. The goddess is calling the feminine spirit. She has been crushed for long enough and, you know, has been rising gradually. And, you know, I th this is all part of like the, the great awakening that we are in right now. This is a fantastic time for us to be living in. This is the great awakening that we are taking part of it. Some people call it the great churning where we're turning the trajectory from where we've gone towards something to the future. And it is that, but turning kind of implies we're staying on the same level. Awakening says we're taking it to a new level. So I like the idea of awakening, that it's a change of consciousness and we are awakening our divine nature. I feel that, you know, one of my sayings is evolution is the God's way of making more gods. Consciousness is expanding and, you know, particularly with, you know, the, the physicalness of it too, you know, with the pandemic. So it's right in our face. People are being forced to confront their own, themselves and their own awakening. And the women are rising. When someone says, you are the goddess, I open myself to reflect, allow others to see the goddess reflected in them. The goddess made so much sense to me. You know, it was like the god was out there, like some god on some throne watching over us all or, you know, something like. And then the goddess was like the connection to the earth and the connection to myself and the connection of love and nurturing and that made so much sense to me and so i instantly knew like i am a goddess because i am part of the earth and the earth is part of me and that i'm connected to the universe and the cosmos and to each and every human being and to me you know the goddess is love the goddess is connection the goddess, to me, is accessible. So when you ask me, what does the goddess mean to me? 
What the goddess means is that there is a fullness and a richness to divinity itself that includes every conceivable aspect. She has many faces, and but in the end, all is for love. The goddess is, is um, two things in one. One is just the all loving, all nurturing, all nourishing mother energy, you know, great mother energy. So many of us, you know, whether we've had incredible mothers, like actual mothers in our lives or not so great <laughs> actual mothers in our lives, um, no matter what the spectrum is, all of us, I believe, at least for me is like, there's a deep longing to merge with this archetype and this energy of the mother, the one who just is just always there to nurture you, always there to support, always there to wrap her, her big loving arms around you and let you know that it's okay. The goddess calls us into galactic citizenship. She calls us into global citizenship. She calls us all to the round table. Those of us who are connecting to the goddess, there are many different inroads, many different ways we find, you know, paths that lead us in that direction, but it's all about connecting to the divine feminine within ourselves, in our world, in the goddess archetypes that call to us, and ultimately in the, the form of what I refer to as God, you know, the total God being. She lays down separations. She cultivates unity. She is dynamic in the love of all her children. And remembering her, connecting with her, puts us in this idea of the Hugh family. When this program is complete, it will contain a wide variety of ideas, understandings, and expressions that each of us can explore deeply and then at last go within.